Checking threads with three wires. Today's video, we're going to cover everything that you need to know on how to check threads with three wires. Stay tuned. There are six main ways of checking threads. In today's video, we're only going to be covering one, the three wire method. Thread callout, nominal diameter. The half inch is the nominal diameter. Most people get this mistaken with the major diameter, 13 is the threads per inch, so if you measured over one inch you'd be able to count 13 threads. UNC, Unified National Course, class of fit you have a 1, a 2, and a 3. The 1 would be, we'll say, tractor parts, 2 we would say would be automotive, and 3 would be more like aerospace. A represents external, B represents internal. Some definitions that you'll need to know. The major diameter is basically the outside of your thread. Pitch diameter is used in the calculations. Your minor diameter is the smallest inside thread. Pitch is the distance from a point on one thread to the corresponding point on the next. The following charts is where you'll get the information to do your calculations to measure over your three wires. Major diameter, why do you need to know the major diameter? It's what you have to machine the outside of the part to. You must be within the maximum and minimum, or your part will not be within tolerance. Pitch diameter is only needed in the calculations. We don't actually measure this. Your constant is a predetermined calculation. We don't actually measure this amount. Your wire size is the actual physical size of wire that you'll be using to do your measurement. Now that we've acquired our list of information that we require, let's put it into a nice document form. So let's take a look at what we have here. To the right, we have our list of information. To the left, lower left, we add the pitch diameter and the constant, which will give you the OWS, which is over the wire size. Once you have your over the wire size, you can check to see if it fits within the specifications of what you're trying to achieve. Basically, your class of fit, your class one, your class two, or your class three. You can find the basic information just about anywhere. Here are a couple of sources that I use to gather the information. Below you will also find a link to download my information sheets and a couple of examples and some blank sheets. Okay, let's say I want to check this thread. This is a pretty cool chart. Uh, it'll tell me quite a bit of information about the actual thread. It'll tell me the diameter within reason. I mean, okay, it tells you the length. And that's pretty much it. It's a nice little chart for doing uh, quick references. So now I want to know, let's say we've already cut this thread, I want to check to make sure that it's within spec. Um, I already know that it's about a half inch. So before I get started, I want to know how many threads per inch there are. Well I can set my vernier to one inch and then count the amount of threads that are in there. People generally don't do that. What they will use is they'll use the thread pitch gauge. And they'll go through and say, oh, that's pretty much spot on. So that's 13 threads per inch. Let's put her in the vise, see what we got here. Now we've already gone through, oopsie, and written down all of our information. So I know before I do anything, I need to check the major diameter. It needs to be between these two numbers. If it's not between those two numbers, then it's wrong. Now, if you've just cut this thread, one of the things you want to watch out for is uh, that you're, you've removed all your burrs. So I'll go here, give that a bit of a feel there. Come up here, and we are at basically 88, 488, our number here is 487 minimum, so we're between the minimum and the maximum, so it's a good thread. So now let's, oops, we want to use, we want to check our sizes, so we want to use a 45 thou wire, so we grab our wire set, pull out our 45 thou wire, Two go on the top, one goes on the bottom, or vice versa, doesn't really matter. Let's zoom in for this. Hopefully you 
Hopefully my hand doesn't block everything. Okay, we get our reading. Our reading is 514. We're allowed to be 516 to 511, therefore, this is a good thread. Okay, with a smaller elastic band, I had to break this one. Turn around, you can go from the bottom to the top, top to the bottom, doesn't matter. And you wrap this around, try and spread them out. And that will hold the wires to stop them from falling. Just make sure you got them in the right spacing. Then you can put the top wire on and put your micrometer over top. Another way of doing this is people will put grease on to hold it in place, but that's quite messy. There are two more methods that can be used. This is a plastic retaining clip. There is also metal retaining clips like these ones here, but the metal ones are quite pricey. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please check out some of my other videos on YouTube channel Shop and Math. Don't forget, if you've enjoyed the video, got some information from it, please like and subscribe. It's free and it helps me out. Don't forget to also click on the link down below and download the documents and charts. Have a good day.